All right, guys. So now in this tutorial, we're gonna be working on the I mean, on the red bumper. So let me just loading the images that we're gonna use. So we can get started. All right, so these are the two images I'm going to be using, and uh, obviously they're enough to finish the red bumper. So let's get started on this. Now I'm going to take this piece here, and let's go into edit mode. All right, so I'm going to zoom into this area. I'm going to take all of these edges here. That is the one down below, and I'm going to go into wireframe and press Shift and D, and I'm going to move this to about somewhere here. I think it should be good. And now let's press P and separate the selection. Now let's take that piece and remove all the uh, support vertices that we have going on for now. So I'm going to remove all this, including all that. So I want to dissolve all of those vertices, dissolve them. And I want to dissolve the one in the middle here as well. All right, very nice. Now let's disable the, let's remove the solidify and let's disable the subdivision surface. All right, so now let's get onto the side view and I want to go into edit mode. Now right here, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go with just three vertices instead of uh, five of them. So I'm just going to dissolve those vertices and let me take all of these, press W, choose loop tools, and choose space to even out the space very nicely. Uh, I think we have to exclude these, this one right here. Yeah, so loop tools and then space to even out the space very nicely like that. So uh, I think that's a that's good for a start. Now let's get onto the side view and let's work on this side next. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to extrude it all the way to about here like this. And I want to extrude it all the way down to there. I want to put about four vertices in the middle of this one. And I'm going to press G and then move them onto the blueprint line. All right, once we've done that, we're going to apply loop tools to this area just to even out the spaces. All right, so now we're going to take this vertex here, not the second one, just this first one right here. And let's get onto the side view. And I'm going to extrude it all the way down to about here. And I want to add in about three more in the middle here. And let me take this and press G and move that to about here. Take this, press G, move that here. And I want to move this finally to about there. Let me send this up a bit more. And let me take this and move it up to about there. All right. So I'm just going to even out the space between these over here just to make sure the spaces are even amongst them. All right, very nice. Now let's get onto the back view and let's align them onto the blueprint line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control and I to uh, select all the other meshes and press H to hide them. Now let's get onto the back view and then let's align these vertices with the blueprint line, each and every single one of them. All right, so now I'm going to add in about three vertices in here, and I'm going to take this press G and then move that all the way here. Take this press G and move that about here. Let me take this and send it up to about here. And I'm finally going to take this and move it to about there. All right, now let's get onto the side view and align it onto the blueprint line as well. All right, very nice. So I think that is looking great. Now let's take this vertex here and extrude it all the way to the back of the blueprint right here. And then uh, let's get onto the top view and align it in the top view by moving it in the x-axis all the way to the center right here. And I think it's the one above. No, it's the one below. So this center right here, we pretty much aligned it here already. So that should be good. And I want to add in 10 vertices in here. And let's get onto the top view and align each and every single one of them onto the blueprint line. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to apply the loop tool space to this just to make sure the spaces in between them are even. So loop tools and then space. All right, very nice. Now let's get onto the side view and let's see how aligned it is in the side view. All right, so we're going to align each and, each and every one of the vertices onto the blueprint line. Nice. So that should align it very nicely for us, as you can see. And everything is coming out really great. All right. So what we're going to do next is to get onto the back view. And I'm going to take this one right here. And let me just extrude it all the way back to about here, like this. And let's get onto the side view and make sure it is aligned in the side view very nicely. So I'm just going to pull it in the Y axis to about there, like that. OK, so what I'm going to do next is to take uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then press F. I want to take these two and press F once, I think. Or let's press it twice. Yeah, I think that should be good. And uh, let's add in about three. Yeah, I think three should be good. Let's add in three, uh, what do you call it, loop cuts in here. And let me get to the top view. And we're just going to press Alt and then S and then shrink this out. So I want to shrink it out until the one on the right-hand side is very much on the blueprint line. And I want to deselect that. 
press Alt and S, shrink this out until that one also falls on the blueprint line. Or maybe, maybe what we can do is let me delete let me delete this ones right here. Okay, so we have only these, and let me get in here. Let me take all of them again, or just let me take them one by one. And I'm gonna press Alt and S and then shrink this in to about here. And let me make this the active element and then scale it out to about there. So you can pretty much see what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure the spaces in between here are uh, reasonably uh, evened out. And then I'm just gonna scale it with this being the active element. I'm just gonna scale it in the X axis. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the next one as well. So let me just press S and then X and then scale it out like this. And I'm gonna press Alt and S and then shrink it out until the space is uh, reasonably even in here as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the final one right here. So I'm gonna press Alt and S like that. I think I need to bring it in some more like that. And I'm gonna press Alt and S, I mean S and then X and scale it out like that. All right, now we can take one, two, three, four, press F and we can take these two and press F to fill in all of that area very nicely. All right, very nice. Now let me just get onto the side view and let me take this vertex and I'm gonna extrude it all the way back to here, as you can see, right here. And let me get to the top view so we can align this with the blueprint line. So I'm gonna move it back. You can see it, it's visible right here. So we're just gonna move it to the middle right here like this. And I think that should be good. Now let me get onto the back view and I'm gonna add in one vertex here. And let me just press G and move that to about here, I think. And I wanna put two more in here. And let me just press Alt and S or just press G and then move this onto the blueprint line, each and every single one of them. All right, now let me just apply loot tools to this just to make sure the spaces in between them are even. All right, very nice. So what I'm going to do now is to add in extra vertices in the middle here. Uh, I think we're going to add in about three. We're going to add in three of them in the middle here. So let's just press Ctrl and R and add in three in here. And then let's align it with the blueprint line very nicely like that. All right, now let's get onto the side view and let's, or maybe to the top view, I'm not sure just to align these with the blueprint line very nicely. All right, let me get onto the back view and we're gonna apply loop tools to this area once one more time, just to even out the spaces very nicely. And let me get onto the top view and make sure it's following the blueprint line very nicely, which it is. Now let me get onto the side view and apply loop tools to this area as well. So loop tools and then space, very nice. Alright, so I think everything is coming out quite great. Uh, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Uh, let me just get to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to press E and then extrude it up to here. And I'm going to extrude it in the x-axis all the way to the center. And let's make sure it is matching with the blueprint line like that. And let me just take these two. Let's get into the side view and make sure we align them as they need to be on the blueprint line. Alright, let me take this and pull it in the y-axis to the back about here like this. And now I can take... I think we have a bit of waviness here, so let me just move this up, pull this down, and take this, pull it up, just to fix that waviness a bit more. Let me pull this down a bit, pull this down to about here. Let me take this and pull it down to about there. All right, very nice. Okay, so we can take these two now, and let me just, uh, you know what, let's add in the extra vertices we need in here. So I'm going to add in, I think, five of them. I think it's five. Let me just check real quick. All right, let me add in five instead of four. So five, and I want to align each and every one of them onto the blueprint line very nicely. All right, very nice. Now we just have to align them in the top view as well onto the blueprint line. So this one is going to move. First off, let me take this and pull it back to here. You can see it's the one right behind the one on top of it. So we're just going to move each and every single one of them. Is that it though? No, that's, that's not it. That's the wrong one. Yeah, I think that's the wrong one. So let's undo all that. And I think it pretty much follows the uh, the line right on top of it. So this line right here. And uh, let me just press G and then place it right on top of it. Just to make it much even better. So I'm just going to place each and every single one on its corresponding one like that. All right, very nice. So I think that is looking good. Uh, so what we're going to do next is let's add in an extra vertex in here and then just align it onto the blueprint line like that. And let's move it in the Y axis onto the blueprint line just like that. All right, so what we're going to do is to take one, two, three, four and press F and then take these two and press F all the way to about there like that. That should be good for now. 
And uh, what I'm going to do is, let me just get onto the back here. And let's take this vertex here. Alright, I want to extrude it down to about here. And let's extrude it all the way back to about there. And I want to extrude it all the way to here. And then all the way down to here. And I want to extrude it again all the way down to here. And extrude it one more time all the way to the other side, like that. Alright, so let's just get onto the side view and then align them onto the blueprint line. Alright, so I'm just going to add one more in here, and let's put two in the middle here like this, and uh, let's put one over here as well, and then finally what we're going to do is to add in three in the middle here, so three more ones here, and let's make sure they are all aligned with the blueprint line, which they are, except for these ones, just going to move them around a bit, let me apply the loop tools to this area, so loop tools, space, let me get onto the side view, make sure it's aligned very nicely, which it is, I'm just going to move this back a bit, and that should be good. So let me just get onto the back view and I want to take one, two and press F. All right, very nice. Now I want to add in three more in the middle here. All right, so let's get onto the side view and make sure everything is aligned very well, which it is. Now let me get onto the back view again and I want to add in, I mean, I'm going to take these four and press F and I want to take these two and press F all the way to about there. And now we're going to add in about, uh, I think three should be good. Let me take a look. Yeah, so let's add in two for now. So we're going to add in two vertices. Let me just get onto the side view. I want to add in two in the middle here. I'm just going to press Alt and S and shrink this out to about there. And I'm going to deselect this, press Alt and S and shrink it out to about there. And I think that should be good for now. All right, very nice. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four and press F. And I'm going to add in a loop cut in here. Let me just get onto the back view. And I'm going to press Alt and S. And shrink this out to about here, just reasonably enough. And let me take these two, press F twice. That is good. And uh, we're going to figure that area out very soon. Uh, what I want to do now is... Um, okay, let's take 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's press F. And I want to take these two and press F all the way to about here. I think that should be good for now. You know what, I'm going to add one more vertex in the middle here, and let's pull it close to the top here, like this. And I'm going to press Alt and S on that, just to shrink it out as well, just to match that area much better. And uh, let me just take 1, 2, and press F, and let me add in a vertex in here, and we're going to shrink that out as well, just like that. And let me just take these two, and press F twice. Alright, let me just shrink this in some more, I think it's too much like that all right that should be looking good and i want to take these two now and press f once i think that's too much so let me just move it in the y-axis to about here all right now but let me take everything and press shift and n to recalculate the normals and i'm going to take one two three which one is going to be the fourth one though okay so i think this four and i want to press f and let's take one, two, three, four, and press F. And let's take these two and press F all the way to there. All right, that's coming out very nicely. Not bad. And now I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and press F. And let me just add one more in here. And let me get onto the back view. I'm just going to shrink it out just a bit like this. And let me take one, two, and press F twice like that. And I want to add, I'm going to add about, let me see. Let me get onto the side view first, all right? And I want to press Ctrl and R through here and add one in here. Let me just press E and then align it with the one below and pull it to about there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Press E and then F. Well, first of all, we're going to do is let's, let's create this area first, okay? So let's, let's finish this area real quick. So I'm just going to extrude that vertex and extrude it all the way down to about here. And we have about, let me take a look, we have about eight vertices in here. So we're going to add in eight. And I'm going to take this one and move it to here. Take this, move that here. And I'm just going to move the rest onto the blueprint line. All right, so now let's apply loop tool space to this. So I'm going to take it from here all the way to here, not all the way down, but all the way to here. And I'm going to apply loop tools and then space to this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of them. And then apply, I mean, scale them in the x-axis. So I'm going to take 1, 2, press S and X and type in 0. And I'm going to take these two, make sure this is the last element selected. I'm going to press Shift and R to repeat the command. 
and we're just going to do that all the way to the top. Alright, just to flatten that area much better. Now we can take these four and press F and take these two and press F all the way down to about there. Alright, now we can do the same thing over here just to finish that area much better. So I'm just going to extrude it down to about here like this. Let me take these two and press F and let me add in about... Let me just get to the back view first. Take this and then slide it all the way to there. And we're going to add in three extra vertices in here. Take these two and press F all the way there. And there we go. Alright, very nice. Okay, so now let's get onto this side now. Alright, so right here what we're going to do is let's take this and then this. And then let's just press... Uh, first of all, before we actually do that, I think we have to do something first. So um, let's add in that extra vertex in here. And let me just pull that close to about here. Let me just press E and then F, align it with the one below and pull it to about here. And then what we're going to do next is we're just going to transition the, uh, the, the curvature very nicely from here all the way to down there. So let me just take it from here. Let me just use the knife tool and then knife it from here all the way to about here. As we get closer to the end, it kind of uh, goes down. So I'm just going to end it here for now. So let me just end it here like this. And let me dissolve the other edges on top like that. And I'm going to take this, slide it down to there. Take this, slide that down some more. And I want to take these two and slide that even more down to about here. And let me just press G just to give it a tiny bit of curvature. And I want to take these two and press F here. And I'm going to add one more in the middle here. Add another one over here. And let me just get to the back. I think I'm going to slide this down maybe just a bit. And let me take these four and press F. And uh, what I'm going to do now is let me take all of these all the way to the last one over here. Let me get onto the back view. And making sure this is the active element and making sure your pivoting point is set to active element like this. And I'm going to press S and then Y and then scale this in to about, I don't know how far in it goes, but I think it goes really far inside. Yeah, so let's just press S and Y and scale it in quite a lot, I think, to about somewhere here like this. I think that should be good. Not too far inside, but should be quite far inside like that. Let me take one to press S and Y and then type in zero, pretty close to that. And then I'm just going to take this and then pull it out just a bit more because that went way too inside. So just something like that. All right, very nice. Okay, so let me take all of these and I'm gonna slide it up and then slide it back down just to make sure that surface is flat like that. Very nice. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one, two and press F, three, four and press F. And I wanna take one, two, three, four and press F. And I wanna take these two and press F. All right, now what I'm gonna do is let me get to the back view. I'm gonna take this and slide it out to about here. Let me do the same with this. Slide it out to there. And I think that's pretty good. So let me just take this and then shrink it out just like that. And I think that should be good. Let me shrink it in some more. All right, very nice. Let me just slide it in a bit like that. And I think that's pretty cool. Let me just slide it forward a bit. Let's enable the subdivision surface just to see what this looks like. Alright, not bad, not bad. So you can just tweak that area even better to make it look even good or much better the way you want it to. Alright, let me re-disable that. And, uh, okay, so that's getting close to the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knife this, okay, from here all the way to here and then to down here like this. And let me take these three and press F. And finally, I'm going to take this and press F just to make that area a quad. And I want to press Ctrl and R3 here, press E, and then F, slide that down to about here. Let me just take one, two, three, four and press F. And now we can take these two and press F. All right, very nice. I think I'm going to pull this out a bit to about here. All right, very nice. Alright, so I think that is looking good. Now we can go ahead and start adding in the supporting edge loops just to make this look even better. 
All right, so let's enable the subdivision surface and let's start adding in the supporting edge look. So we're going to add one in here, press E and then F and pull it as close as we can like that. And I want to add one more in here, E and then F, pull it as close as we can like that. And I want to add one down here, pull it as close as we can like that. And uh, let's get on over here. So what I'm going to do is, let me press Ctrl and R through here. But first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to hide this vertex here. And I want to press Ctrl and R through here, press E and then F twice to align it with the one at the bottom and pull it very close to some point like that. I think it should be good. Let me press Alt and H to bring everything back. And I'm going to take these two and press J to join it. Alright, so I think what I want to do here is, if you take a look here, you can see it kind of continues all the way to the end here. And it doesn't really look like that over here. So what I want to do is I want to take these two vertices and press J to join it just to see the difference. And I think that contains it even better. So I'm going to keep it like that. Alright, very nice. Now let me just select object and select shade smooth just to smoothing that area even more. And what I'm going to do next is we're going to add in supporting edge loops now. Let me press Ctrl and R through here. First off, let me take a look at this. Alright, so I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. Let me hide this first. Press Ctrl and R through here, press E and then F, align it with the one on top, pull it as close as we can, like that. Let's undo that, and what I'm going to do is, let me get to this side, and let me take this and this, okay? I'm going to press S and Y and type in 0, just to see what that looks like. Let me do the same thing here. I'm just going to move it in the Y axis, a bit like that. And let me take this and pull it in, a bit like that. And I think that should look better, yeah. That was way too far inside, so I had to pull it out a bit. Now let's press Ctrl and R through here, press E and then F. Align it with the top one, pull it as close as we can, like that, looking at the one on the right. And I'm going to do the same thing here, press E and then F. Align it close to it like that. And now let's take these two, take this one next. And I'm going to merge it at last. Now let's press Alt and H to bring the other stuff. Alright, very nice. So now I'm going to get here, and I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here as well, press E. Align it with the one below and pull it as close as we can, like that. And yeah, that should look great. Alright, there we go. I think it came out pretty good, but these ones are way too close to that edge. So what we can do is we can just slide it up a bit because it's way too close. So just slide it up a bit, and that means we're going to have to slide each and every single one of them up a bit. So this one also goes up a bit. Take this, slide it up a bit as well. And now we can go ahead and then add in that extra vertex. So E and then F align with the one below and pull it as close as we can, like that. Alright, very nice, not bad. Now we can add one more in here as well. Press E and then align it close to it just like that. Okay, so you can see everything is coming out really great and really nice. Alright, now we can move on to the next part, which is this area right here. So let's just go in here and I'm gonna take this. And uh, let me just disable the subdivision surface real quick. And we can extrude this all the way down to about here. And let's add in one more in the middle here. Pull it out to about there. And now we can take one, two, press S and then Y and type in zero. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. Just press Shift and R just to shrink it there like that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is to take this now, extrude it again all the way down, just about the same level as this to about there. Take this and then this, <clears throat> extrude that here. I'm going to extrude it all the way here again. And let's make sure they're in the same axis. So S and Y, type in 0. Take this to press shift and R. And then take this to press shift and R. Alright, so I think they are all on the same level now. Let's get onto the side view. And let's take a look at something. I think these ones may have pulled out too much. So let me just pull this in a bit. Or let me do it in the top view. I don't know if it's visible in the top view. But it is. So I'm going to pull this to about here. And the next one is this right here. So I'm going to pull that. I think I'm going to pull it back. Okay, so I think it's this one right here instead. So let's take let's take this one. And let's pull it back to here. And I'm going to take this and pull it back to here. And I think that should be good, which it is. All right, now let's get onto the back view. And let's extrude it again all the way to about some point here. Alright, so now we're going to add in 3 over here, and let's pull this up in the Z axis to about here. Take this, pull it up to here, and we're going to take this and pull it up to here. Now let's just make sure they're aligned in the top view as well by putting each and every single one of them onto the blueprint line. 
All right, so now let's apply loop tools to this area right here just to make sure the spaces in between them are even, which now they are. So uh, what we're going to do next is to, let me just take a look real quick. So we're going to take this and extrude it in the x-axis all the way to the center, like that. All right, so I'm going to pull this up in the z-axis to about some point like that. And uh, let me just pull it up some more. So I'm going to pull it up to about here, like this. And let's add in one, two, three, four, five, five vertices in the middle here. So five, like that. And we're going to align each and every single one of them close to the blueprint line. Not in the center of it, just close to it. All right, very nice. What I'm going to do here is let me just pull this up some more just so we can pull this even further up. So I'm just going to pull these up to beyond the middle of the blueprint line all the way to about here. And let me take this as well and pull it out to about there. And now let's see if we can put the ones here close to the middle of the blueprint line like that. Just to kind of give it the look that we want, just like that. And now let me get onto the top view and let's align each and every single one of them onto the blueprint line. Alright, very nice. So I think everything is coming out really nicely. So what we're going to do is to now take 1, 2, 3, 4 and press F. And now we can take these two and we can press F all the way to the top like that. Alright, very nice. So let's get onto the back view. Let's go into edit mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, extrude it all the way up to here like this. And let me get onto the side view. Make sure that it is aligned in the side view as well. I don't know how far deep it goes. But I don't think it goes that deep, so uh, yeah, let me just pull it back to follow that line on a blueprint line like this. I think, yeah, let me get over here now. I'm going to extrude it in the x axis all the way to the center, and let's make sure it is aligned onto the blueprint line very nicely. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to press Ctrl and R through here to add one, and I'm going to pull that to about somewhere here. I think that should be good. I'm just bring it down some more to about there. And let me get onto the side view, and we're gonna pull this out to there. All right, very nice. I think I'm gonna pull it in some more, just a bit more. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm not so sure, but I think we would have to extrude it inside. Uh, so let me take let me take let me take all of these, okay, and let me just extrude it in the y-axis. To the inside like this and uh, what we can do is, is to make this the active element and press S and Y to scale it to almost flat but not completely flat something like this and I'm gonna pull it in Y axis a bit more to about there I think that should be good yeah maybe scale it in the Y axis a bit more and uh, what I'm gonna do next is mm, I'm not so sure, but let me extrude this in the Z axis and then let me pull it in the X axis to about here. Let me get onto the back view and see what we got. Let's undo that and let me just add an extra vertex in here and then slide it to about some point here. So you can see, taking a look at the reference image, that's what that's how I'm making it, okay? So look at the reference image and try to replicate it as much as possible. So let me pull this up onto the blueprint line like that. Now I'm going to take this two and press F. And let's add in four more in the middle here and align it with the blueprint line. Alright, so now we can take one, two, three, four and press F. And then let's fill it all the way to the center. What is going on? Oh, I filled the wrong area. Okay, so I think it's these two right here. Press F. And let's delete this edge right here. And now we can take these four and press F. And take these two and press F all the way to the center. All right, very nice. So uh, let me just take these two now, or these three, and press F like this. And I'm not so sure, but I think we can we can make this side a quad, possibly. Uh, let me remove that face real quick, and let me just take these two and press F. And I'm gonna add a vertex in here. And then let me just pull it to about here and pull this in the y axis to about some point like that. And uh, what we can do is to add in one more up here. And let's take these two and press F once. And now we can have this area as a quad like this. All right, very nice. So I want to press Ctrl and R2 here and I want to align it with the one below. Pull it as close as we can like that. And then take these two 
we press F twice. All right, so now we can go ahead and add in two more in the middle here. And let's get onto the back view. And let's see if they are all on the blueprint line, which they are. So I think that is looking great. And everything is coming out really nicely. So, all right, so now all we can do is to press Ctrl and R3 here, press E, and then F, align it with this area, and pull it as close as we can to about some point like that. But as you can see up here, it kind of uh, merges with the one on the left. So let's deselect all of these, and then let's pull it to the center around here like this that should be good all right so now what i can do is to take this hide it let's press ctrl and r3 here as well press e and align it with that area and pull it as close as we can just like that and i want to merge the two of them in the mirror here so merge at center like that let's press alt and h to bring everything back and there it is so you can see that is looking great let's re-enable the subdivision surface just to see what this looks like all right everything is coming out really nicely so we can press ctrl and r3 here to add an extra vertex in here Press G twice, press E, and then F, align it with that area, and pull it as close as light like that. And I think we can keep it, we can keep it there. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so finally what I can do is to knife this from here to the center here. Or we can just knife it. Sorry about that noise. We can knife it from here all the way to this one right here. And let's just confirm that, just to contain that area much better. Alright, so I think that is looking quite good. Alright, so now we can go around and then adding a supporting edge loop to every side of the mesh, starting from the top here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here, press E, and then align it with it as close as we can like that. And let's go down here, I think that's good. And right here, we're going to add one in here as well. Pull it as close as we can like that. And then right here as well, press E, pull it as close as we can like that. Let me take a look at this area, slide it back and then slide it up, slide it back, and slide it up. Now let me just take this, and then let me just shrink it in a bit, just to help that area a bit more. Alright, not bad. Alright, so now I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here as well. Press E, align it close to it like that, and I'm going to take this and hide it, and let me add one in here as well. Press E and then F. Let me press Alt and H to bring everything back, and I'm going to merge this at the last one or at the center should be good like that all right now we have to add one more up here as well so press e align it with the top and we'll have to add one more i think around here as well that is this area right here so i'm going to press ctrl and r2 here first of all let me go into wireframe all right so i'm going to hide this let me press ctrl and r2 here press e align it with the left and pull it as close as we can like that and i'm going to knife this from here all the way to there like that all right nice so yeah now if we go ahead and add in the solidify modifier it should look great uh but i would encourage you to fix this area much more because i feel like it doesn't look too good not entirely so we can just i'm not sure how but let's pull it in the x-axis like this and then in a y just a bit i think that should fix it a bit more Let's change the mud cap and see what this looks like. Alright, there we go. So just play around with that area just to make it much smoother as it should look. Alright, very nice. So everything is looking great on my side here. And hopefully it looks the same on your side. Alright, so for the next step, I'm pretty sure you know what it is. That is solidifying the whole mesh, which I'm going to leave up to you guys to do on your own. Because uh, we already know how to do that, so I don't have to show you that again. So... Yeah, I think that's going to do it for the rear bumper. Let's press alternate to bring the other parts and let's see how it matches with it. And you can see it matches really, really great without any issues or flaws. Very nicely. And hopefully you have the same result too. Let's take a look at how it matches with the blueprint line. So right here you can see we have it cutting out a bit. That's not a problem because that's how it looks like in the main image. I just happen to have made that mistake while drawing the blueprints. So... Yeah, those are tiny those are tiny mistakes you're gonna find in any blueprints. But yeah, everything looks overall very great. So hopefully you have the same result. I'm gonna leave the uh, solidifying up to you, like I said, to do on your own. And hopefully you're able to do it right and uh, get it right. So this is where I'm gonna end this video. And uh, yeah, I think I'll pretty much see you guys in the next video. Bye.